my name is Wendy Queen. I'm currently a tenure track assistant professor here at EPFL. Um, I have a background in chemistry, specifically in inorganic chemistry. And here I have a research team that is focused on environmental based science. We're de designing new materials so that we can overcome certain environmental um, limitations, so to speak. For instance, we're designing porous materials so that we can purify air and purify water. So our technology, um, we're, we're basically a materials group and we are synthesizing what I would describe as molecular based sponges. So if you can imagine a normal kitchen sponge that you use, for instance, to wash dishes, ours are similar, except the holes in the sponge are about 50,000 times smaller than the diameter of, of a human hair. And so basically this means that the pores, the holes inside of our sponge are similar to the sizes, for instance, of molecules like carbon dioxide, like water. And so basically, um, our group, we're, we're chemists, and so what we do is we go inside of these sponges and we decorate them in certain ways um, that we can attract, for instance, certain small molecules over others. And so because of this, we can use these sponges for certain gas separations or liquid separations. So specifically, we are trying to remove, for instance, this is similar to the example that I told you before, we're doing air and water purification. If you want to do that, you have to extract contaminants, for instance, from air and water. And we can make these sponges so that they specifically attract a targeted contaminant. We've designed several state-of-the-art materials in our laboratory. Um, first, we designed a material that is really fantastic at extracting uh, heavy metals from, from water, so to produce clean drinking water. So a lot of people don't realize this, but currently about 11% of our global population has no access to clean water. And we've developed a new method so that we can decorate the inside of our sponges with special functionality that can selectively extract things like lead and mercury from a variety of different um, waste solutions or drinking water. And the materials are really highly selective. And this is important because we can put them in different types of, of liquid streams. And this means that the materials maintain their efficiency um, in varying solutions. So in addition to this, because the, the materials are so highly porous, we can put lots of these contaminants inside. So you can imagine that with very little material, we can purify large quantities of water. In a second material that we've recently designed, um, I mentioned the selectivity before, and what we've done is we've tried to design different materials that are selective for different targets. And so because of their high selectivity, I was interested in designing new sponges that could extract really high value commodities like gold, like platinum, like palladium from waste streams. And the reason is because a lot of energy currently goes into the mining industry that are used to extract precious metals from ore. And then we incorporate these precious metals into a variety of electronic devices like cell phones. And then we simply, at the end of the life of these products, we simply throw those back into landfills. And so what we would essentially like to do is be able to make those processes more circular now rather than linear. And so as a result, we're trying to design our sponges so that we can selectively extract, for instance, these precious metals from a variety of waste streams, like for instance, from electronic waste and cell phones. And so what we've designed is material that is able to concentrate really large quantities of gold uh, from liquid electronic waste. So you just take the metals out, you dissolve them in solution, you drop in the sponge, it takes all of the gold up and it leaves behind all of the other metals. And then we take that sponge out, we can concentrate about one gram of gold per gram of sponge, then we destroy it, and we're left with about 23.9 karat gold on the back end. And the reason that the purity is so high is directly related to that high selectivity that I mentioned earlier. So it only extracts the gold and leaves the other metals like copper and nickel behind in the solution. 
currently for the best performing sponges that we have, we're essentially scaling those up to large to, to larger quantities. And then we're going to implement those into filter devices. So you can imagine that the important applications for the materials that we've developed so far is of course water purification. Um, the second application that we've got really nice materials for so far is of course the extraction of precious metals from waste streams. And so our idea really is to try and build a potential startup company that could use the extraction of precious metals as a means to build a profit stream. And potentially our hope is that we can also give back and potentially in the future also provide water filters, for instance, to underdeveloped places. And there are a lot of different applications for these materials because they're so selective. You know, it's exciting to think about the possibility of being able to mine commodities, for instance, from the ocean. Um, we're also working on designing other materials for different separations. For instance, a really, I think probably the most important separation of our time is related to carbon dioxide capture. And so now we're working to design materials that can capture CO2 from things like exhaust gas from vehicles and also flue gas from power plants. 10 years from now, I hope to be uh, still in the position that I'm in, um, running a fantastic research team that is focused on designing special materials for environmentally related applications. However, I hope for the materials that we've designed to date that those are at least implemented by this time and hopefully making an extremely positive impact in our world.